Hello, my name is Stephenson Amon, and I'm running for Ward 2 City Council. Congresswoman Ayanna Presley says, the people closest to the pain should be the ones closest to the power. This is what inspires me to run for office. Let me tell you about my life. I know it's hard. I was raised by a single mother and then in the foster care system. I got into trouble with the police, but the help of a great high school principal and hard work, I turned my life around. Sadly, during college, I was in a terrible car accident and spent a year in the hospital being told I would never walk again. I sit before you because I've worked hard and had great medical care. I know what it is like to be overlooked or looked at because of your physical disability. I know what it's like to be looking for accessible housing. I know what it's like to manage on broken sidewalks, taking city buses, and maneuvering around speeding cars and in traffic. I lived in the Mystics and became president of the Tenant Association. Ever deal with 1,400 residents? That's hard. But I loved helping my neighbors. People knew I cared. I saw them, I heard them. I don't project myself on the community. I am the community. People know that I care. I have been a coach and I have been a leader in tenants rights and I'm setting up programs for youth throughout the community. Whether it's working through the Summer of Edu Education Foundation, working with the residents of the Mystic Apartments Tenant Association, I have been involved in the planning of the city's future as a co-chair of Summer Vision 2040. They told me to speak about my experience, speak for the little people. And that's the problem. They see us as little people. We are citizens of this city, and we love some of them. And it's unfortunate that they took the time to not do anything for us. It's unbelievable the amount of people that we have lost. Keeping people alive should be our main focus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like Ben has spoke, it's good to see so many electors out here today because our officials, people that we put into office, are the individuals that are going to make a difference for us. So it makes me proud to see all the people out here. But it also makes me proud to see the citizens out here, people that care, the voices that need to be spoken up. And we will speak up. Thank you. My role in Somerville has helped a lot of families. And we need voices that speak the truth about the residents that are truly here. Thank you, Somerville.